Hey guys, it's Jack. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game. Paper Mario! The origami headache! Ouch! Where we are deep in the water of elemental shrine trying to solve all the mysteries and the puzzles and get ourselves a new power. Which I very much want. Who doesn't want an origami dragon? I mean, if you say you don't, I'm gonna call you a liar. Because that's something a liar would say. Sorry, I just had to make sure that that was muted. Oh. And then that popped up. I don't need that right now. There we go. But yeah, I would love to learn how to fo fold an origami dragon. I really hope it's cool looking. The turtle is pretty damn cool looking. I gotta admit, that was really awesome looking. I could have lived without the little dance, but what are you gonna do? Ooh, treasure! You got the restaurant fridge. Have we even... Yeah, we've seen that. That's the restaurant from the tower. Okay. Unfortunately, like, some battles are gonna be worth avoiding still. I think I got one of you. I'm hoping not too many are gonna be worth avoiding. Alright, let's see. Line them up. What do we got going here? Uh, this is a mess. I think I want to do this. Yeah, just rotate them all this way. Okay. Not as much of a mess as it looked like. That's good. Okay. Uh, can I get by with just boots? I do like that it makes you ask questions about your equipment. Like, what is the minimum equipment that you can get away with? So you don't have to worry about using powerful equipment that you don't need to. And I hope that they keep introducing more twists to the battle system as we go on to keep making it interesting. But... I have a feeling no matter what, because I get tired of, like, RPGs. <laughs> I'll, I'll explain that in a minute. But I get... I... I hope that... I have, I have a feeling that I'm going to be skipping some battles just because you don't need them to level up. To be fair, I think that leveling up is an outdated mechanic and I am fully in support of as many people finding a way to give player progression without it. Oh my gosh, Mario, thank goodness you noticed me. I thought I was doomed to live my life as a window dressing in, the damp, in this damp forgotten shrine. Oh, and you gave me a max-up heart, sir. Thank you very much. I think your HP just increased again, Mario, and you seem a bit stronger to boot. Wow, my joint being rescued turned into an actual heart. I didn't know I could do that. Maybe I can make a sandwich appear next if I think about how hungry I am. Oh, that does sound delicious. Uh, I, I feel like... XP is a necessary system, and as far as we haven't really come up with a solid system that's better, that is a chest. Is it not? It is. But my least favorite part of any RPG is the leveling system. I love the characters. I love the story. The battle system I like to an extent, if it's a good battle system. Um, but I am usually not a fan of leveling. Like, I try to do the minimum I need to to get through so I can enjoy the story. And so, well, a lot of people don't think that this is a good, like, a lot of people really like the XP system and, um, they were upset that there wouldn't be experience in these battles. I'm like, you know... I applaud them trying to be creative about it. Now, what I think people are actually upset about, and I've mentioned this on Twitter a few times, they don't get the customization of their stats, and that's a lot of fun for them. Uh, being able to play with different stat outputs or different badges or things like that. You know, being able to customize their runs. That's something that they don't get to do, and I can certainly understand that. I feel like if... If, um, they figured out a way 
There's a way in there. If they figured out a way to... Did I knock myself out when I turned on the water? That can't be right. If they could figure out a way to allow people to customize their stats while still not relying on XP as a system, I feel like that would be the best possible solution. No, there's no there's no way we, we could have done that, right? I feel like a lot of people would be happy with a battle system because that would... That still has a little bit of punishment for not fighting and that you can't upgrade your stats. Because that's a, a big complaint is, you know, it's not punishing to skip battles. And I, I think that has to do with you don't feel punished by losing stats for skipping battles. How many toads are there, by the way? So I feel like they're... Did I rescue two toads? Oh yeah, there's three toads in here. Uh, I feel like they're very close to a viable system. They just need a little more work. A, a little more. It's not quite there yet. And it's really too bad that they... At least the rumors are that uh, there's going to be no more Mario and Luigi RPG series, which actually I am upset about because I really enjoyed those. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to use iron boots here. I still don't know what the magic Koopa is there for. Um, this is the stronger area, so I guess I'll go ahead and finish this off. Maybe I should have used an item here. Stack slice and dice! Okay. I don't know what this, why the Magic Koopas, or Mecha Koopas, I keep calling them Magic Koopas, that's a different species. Mecha Koopas keep showing up. And then they, you know, they, are, are they always going to run away? Let's use a Fire Flower, just for fun. Okay, it is definitely as he throws them, and that timing's a little bit odd. Gonna have to practice those. Take the coins, a ton of coins. Uh -huh. Treasure. Ooh, you got the pal block. Well, that I will gladly take, cause that was a cool looking pal block. Maybe I'll swing by the museum and take a look at some of these collectibles that I've gotten. Also, I want to look at the music. Uh, do I get the music just by, like, being in an area? Or is there something else to unlock? And how do I get to you, Mr. Block? And also do the... Here's a question. Do... No, that can't be right. I'm about to... Like, I'm thinking... Um... Do the stone block, the brick blocks. Oh, I, I wasn't paying attention. Do the brick blocks count for block completion? I think it was specifically question mark blocks. Alright, you guys aren't going anywhere. Why don't I... Uh, actually, I don't have a wide angle item attack. I wonder if we're gonna get something like that. Other than that, I'm like... Oh, this is gonna hurt! Okay, that wasn't too bad. Shell shots across the board. Alright, this is an easy lineup. Finish everything off. Bingo. Okay. Now a hammer. The thing about it, um, the thing is, is depending on who you ask, the downfall of Super Mario or uh, Paper Mario as an RPG could have come from like two different sources. 
or two different eras. It could have been. Why is that all the way up there? Ooh, intriguing. Uh, it could have been uh, Super Paper Mario, which I didn't enjoy, but a lot of people count that as the last true Paper Mario. Or it could have been at Sticker Star, which a lot of people will agree with. Sticker Star was not well loved. Even though I didn't really like Sticker Star that much. So no, it's just a little heal. I can't get over here. Oh, this might be the wide angle thing that I was looking for. Shakes the ground, dealing damage to all enemies. Power block as an item. Very intriguing. I hope that these blocks respawn because I have a feeling that's the only way to get that. And we had to hit those blocks to get through. I kind of didn't want to get into a fight game, but okie dokie. Alright, I see exactly what I gotta do here. This one's obvious. S Oop, no. We want to start with the slide. Slide those into place. Now, ring. There we go. Perfect lineup. Attack power up. Still don't know what it means by that. Yeah, definitely need to use an item on those guys. Okay. At least at this point, I am not strong enough, even with a 1.5 attack boost, to take him out. I can get the red ones. The blue ones have just a little bit too much health. I would say the blue ones probably have 20 health. Alright, we got three moves. Really? I don't need three. Uh, maybe it does have something to do with if you use all the actions or not. Because I only needed two actions, I got a perfect. Maybe if you use all of them, you get a great? That might be the case. All right. Um, yeah, because I had to hammer a bunch of these blocks to get through here. I assume they're going to respawn. Really hope so. Also, I am... Probably need to go ahead and while I'm thinking about it, equip another set of iron boots because I'm about to lose some. Another water elemental statue with a lot of water coming out of its mouth. I'm not sure if it's making me thirsty or the opposite of thirsty, but it sure makes me feel something. Anyway, I guess being the water elemental means you just really like water. You'd have to, right? <laughs> Feelings uh, are awakening in Olivia. She's coming to know the love of water, and there is our funnel toad around here somewhere. Okay, can't do that. Also, it might be a little bit flaky today. Just saying, like, I am recording to kind of help myself stay awake. <laughs> um. Could not sleep, I have work in a few hours, and instead of like calling out of work because my sleep schedule's been really funky lately, I've decided like maybe I should just embrace insomnia today and uh, force myself to stay up and try to get my sleep schedule set properly. Okay. Wasn't expecting to make it cry tears, but that's quite clever. Good job, game. Unfortunately, there's a lot of underwater area there. I have a feeling Toad is in one of those pools. That's over here on this side, or maybe Toad's behind this wall. Ah! Toad! Wake up! The most embarrassing part of being window dressing was knowing that my colleagues clashed with the decor. 
And that's 100% of the toast. Actually, your decor was quite nice. I think you fit rather well. Your blue toe, this is a rather blue area. Ooh, big puzzle, big puzzle. There's another hidden room I already see. Is this nothing? Okay. Go Mario Hammer. I feel like we might be getting a bigger jump somehow, or I'm just like misreading the clues, and it, it's actually a puzzle. But one of those coins was quite high up. Unless it was relying on blocks respawning, which is a possibility. How are we doing on the holes, by the way? Let's check that. Ah, 80% of the holes. Not bad. Okay, we only have two more of those left. Interesting. Wait. This is the same room I just came out of. What's so interesting about this? Alright, let's see if anything happens if I touch the tablet. Nope. Nothing. Okay. Well then, what's up with this room? Because this is my only opportunity. Do I just fall down? Yeah, okay. Just fall down! Cheat cheats! Are we just doing the slide? Really? I can just slide them? Boop. Boop. There we go. Great lineup. Mario's turn. Really? Just that? That wasn't hard at all. I am the coolest. Thank you for noticing, Toad. Oh! But there's infinite cheap cheeps. Infinite cheap cheeps. Do one of them have the tablet that I'm looking for? Hmm. Oh, no. Here's a room. Okay. There's the tablet. What do I feel like that's a trap? There's a hole here. Really? A teleport back to... No, oh, this is new. What is this? I'm very interested. First, what's out here? Okay, yeah. That's what I thought. Okay, let's find out what's up with this. A Starbucks location. Or Star Beans location, I should more appropriately say. Well, well, look who's stopping in for a cup of joe. Well, hey, guys. Speaking of which... Ah, that's good coffee. Alright, let's have a seat. Why can I get you? An un cafe for a hundred coins. Can't say I ever expected you to see you stumble in here, Mario. We try to keep this place a secret. Minions come here to unwind after a long day of pacing back and forth. I'm probably not supposed to be serving you like this, but I'll make an exception. As long as we got you here, Mario, do you agree the Goombas are the strongest minions, right? I mean, we're usually the first ones you have to face, you know? We're the front line, that's proof that we're Lord, Bo Lord Bowser's favorites, we always give 110%. <laughs> Keep dreaming, pal! Shy guys give 120% everywhere, every day we're the clear favorite. Which minion was piloting the boss's clown car during that big rescue at Peach's Castle? A shy guy. I even heard the origami jerk who started this whole mess was disguised as a shy guy. Can it, you dorks. Sorry, Mario. These two are always going at it like this. Goombas and shy guys, Mario's and minions. We're all pressed from the same pulp. Drink your coffee. It's a cute little scene. Got some healing. That was worth it. 
All right, let's grab the tablet for the obvious trap. <laughs> All right, how many minions have we got? Lots. Uh, and one of them has a thing. Okay. Uh, I got three moves here. Uh, swing this around. This might work right here. This will work great. Oh, no. There we go. Unfortunately, I don't think my hammer is going to be strong enough unless I use the shiny one. I can use the shiny hammer on these guys. And then I get a uh, magic circle next time. Goodbye. All right, we'll go back to the normal hammer now. Just a nice. Oh, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Oh, boop. Well, that's annoying. Uh, in that case. get the circle I lost the opportunity for the circle because I didn't eliminate them oh ew hmm this is a tricky one Okay, I think that's part of it. Let's buy some more time here. Let's buy a little more time than that. Um, what if I do this, right? Let's start with that. That makes them immune to the rotate. Then I slide them back into place. There we go. That does mean I'm gonna have to use my shiny hammer twice. Or I could try to see if my normal hammer will do it. And there go my iron boots. Good thing I had another set equipped. Let's try the normal hammer. See if this works, if I get an excellent. No. Okay, they are straight 20 HP. Well, that's good to know. Until I get a little bit stronger, I'm gonna have to use my shiny hammer on them if I wanna wipe them out in the wave. Uh, I got three moves, I don't really need them. I only need two if I do this right. Let's just use a normal hammer to finish him off. I guess I ended up only using my shiny hammer once, so that's the trade-off. I did take, have to take some damage for that. Got a ton of money for it, though. The Groovier Panel! <laughs> panel recover from sidesteppers, put it back where it goes. Hoover up all this confetti. 
all this confetti. All right. Well, with that, we're going to call it an episode here next time. We've got another slide puzzle to solve. I'll see you then. Thanks for coming out and joining me today. As always, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed what you saw, give me your likes, leave me your comments. Remember to subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.